we are gathered here today to celebrate with John and Brittany as they proclaim their love and commitment to the world. Your life will not go unwitnessed because I will be your witness. John, I am honored to become your wife today and it is my privilege to be the witness to your life for the rest of mine. You're constantly surprising me. I'm seeing new and deeper layers every day, finding new things about you that I love. Oftentimes I can't explain why or even understand what it is I'm seeing or feeling. But I promise to spend the rest of my life trying to figure it out and making sure you know how special you are to me and everyone here. When we first met, and I mean early on in our relationship, not our coincidental, faithful first meeting, which I'm sure we'll hear more about soon, but when I first got to know you, I thought you were nice, sweet, pretty, smart, kind, silly, and enjoyed many of the same things I did. I began writing these vows in true Britney fashion, looking for some idea or inspiration on what I should say. I googled, read quotes about marriage and love, read famous love letters, I mean, I truly scoured the internet. I did all of the research. But in the end, I realized one important fact. The only inspiration I needed was the face that greets me with a coffee and an English muffin and a smile every morning, and the face that says goodnight with a kiss every evening. By biking, eating, drinking, and running our way through this city that became ours, I came to realize that there was much more to you. Sure, you are all the things I initially noticed, but you're also deeply caring, quietly analytical, wickedly funny, often at my expense, selfless to a fault, and have more character and integrity than anyone I've ever met. You are my inspiration. John, you are the most incredible person I have ever known. You make me feel so loved every single day. I still sometimes find myself awestruck that you chose me to be the one standing here with you today. You give your all to be the best you possibly can be in every role you take on, and I am assured that the role of husband will be no match for you. And for that, I thank you in advance. No matter who we are, where we come from, or what we believe, we know that love is what is right. Love is what is true. And that is why you are both standing here today. And this is why you, all of you out there, are participating in this moment. We all have loved in our lifetimes, and we've loved and seen in this moment. But right now we are reminded that the ability to love is the very best part of humanity. And so. By the power of your love, by the power of your commitment, and by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. John, kiss your wife. I know by the way that you two look at each other, you have the magic and the love it takes to cultivate a lifelong marriage. There are countless things that I love about you, but it is your compassion and empathy for others that deepened my love and made me sure that you were the one for me. I love you so much. You are kind, patient, supportive, thoughtful, and very handsome. You are my dream come true, the joy in my heart, the laughter in my voice, and the smile on my face. As I reflect on our past and look forward to our future, I see that while a coincidental, small world Detroit run-in and some strong-willed friends brought us together. It will be patience, love, happiness, and devotion that will keep you together. Brittany, I love you.